This is Twit. All right, our letter is from Stephen Lougheed, L-O-U-G-H-E-E-D. He, too, has ideas for drinking gadgets. My idea was Zips, which is, uh, I guess it's a takeoff on Sips. <laughs> he says, here's his message, for me, the ultimate geek mug. Oh, for me, this is the ultimate geek mug. They're almost useless because they have no edges and they are nearly impossible to get liquid into or out of. So what could be better? So Josh, he sent some examples of <gasps> the, oh. wait, the wine Klein bottle. The, you oh. store wine in it. These are super amazing. These, uh, these bottles you know only about have these one things? surface. Yes. Um, uh, they're they're single surface because they always connect throughout the whole bottle. Um, absolutely amazing. There's a there was a, a TED talk on these. Um, yeah. Well, well, wait a minute. So you pour the wine in through that, right? And then it that falls. nozzle, and it'll go through the handle and fill the bottom. Right, right, right. And and you can do like really interesting things with them. Uh, but yeah, they they have one one side. Uh, because the whole bottle, inside and out, connects. The outside will eventually become the inside of the bottle. If you, if you, you know, really sit there and look at it, uh, it's it's amazing. Oh. It's it's oh, I see. yes, it's I see yeah, that. it's a one-dimensional plane that has been formed into a three-dimensional object. It's uh, it's really amazing. And then on top of that, it will hold water inside of the bottle. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's really really amazing. Um, uh, and the, and the 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 there's a, it's a professor who makes these, uh, and I believe that he makes them by hand. Like I, I forget exactly how uh, yeah. he made these. Look at them all. Look at all the different ones at the bottom. Yeah. There. Oh yeah, and you can get you can get all of these. <laughs> um, but yeah, you pour the liquid in. You turn it upside down. Pour the liquid in. Uh, oh. It will fill up just a little bit. It'll it'll actually fill up. It should fill up all the way up to the top because of how liquids work. And then you turn it out upside down, and this part will fall out. But uh, but then you have a a volume that's full of water, and you can turn it. You know, just turn it to, over to the right, and it will it will fall out of uh, of the surface. It's, uh, oh. it's really amazing. Oh, how bizarre! Isn't it crazy? I, so you would be pouring a drink, and and the drink you're pouring will be coming out the bottom of the bottle. Right, right. right. Oh, and, and well, and you can actually get it's pretty. It's it's a lot like a normal jug because of how um, physics works with the with the liquid pushing out towards the lowest point. So you could still pour it like you would expect to pour a uh, a glass. There's just really, really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, Josh, are, are there any? Are there any? Is, is that a sales page that uh, we went to? Uh, let me look. Is there like a price? They must be wildly really expensive. expensive. Uh, here's a, here's a, the the Stein is eighty dollars. Uh, it's an eighty dollar Stein. The uh, this bottle looks, it looks like a vase. Scroll down here. I don't see this one uh, as a price. As a price, okay. But but here's the, he showed my first experimental model at the 2006 TED conference. I've I've looked at this uh, website before. I, I, I this guy just seems like uh, oh, is that him? That's him. That's him. <laughs> um, he seems like a real life. Uh, who's who's the professor in Back to the Future? Um, uh, Oh, Christopher Lloyd? I forget I forget the character's name. Oh, the character. Okay. Doc Brown. Doc Brown. He seems like here he is. He's uh, jumping all around and uh, 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 I forget if I have my my sound on. Um, well, my badge says I'm an astronomer. I would love to talk about my astronomy, but I suspect that the number of people who are interested in radiative transfer in non-gray atmospheres and polarization of light in Jupiter's upper atmosphere, you know, the number of people would fit into a butt shelter. So, I'm not going to talk about that. What they didn't tell you, what they didn't tell you in physics, in eighth grade physics, but they should have, and I wish they had, was that if you multiply the frequency times the wavelength of sound or light, 
you get a constant. And that constant is the speed of sound. So in order to measure the speed okay, of sound. Okay, yeah, this is getting uh, Oh, this is getting yeah, deep. everybody knew so, that. Yeah, I of course, that. absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. Uh, the length of the wave uh, bounces I, off the wall. and It's uh, obviously the speed of sound. Um, why so. we have a taco moon every uh, <laughs> taco 31 <laughs> days. <laughs> Uh, um, Stephen, thank you. Stephen, mm -hmm. L-O-U-G-H-E-E-D. That was great. And just to, just to show it off, here's uh, that bottle that you were, that uh, this is filling that, that bottle up. It's on Vimeo here. Uh, oh, with, good. Okay. Oh, the, so he's filling it. Right. So he fills it from the bottom and, uh, oh, it'll, it'll fill in. Over. Oh, you have oh, this to. This is a handmade oh, one from a method bottle. Now he's doing that i'm surprised that he has to do that i think that water would just fill from the bottom over it given enough time it'll just fall fall in but maybe not um but yeah it's, wow yeah isn't that neat